Great to meet you guys. You um, the first 20 minutes of the movie is going so well, and then it all sort of goes a bit pear shaped. Do you want to tell us? It, a does, it does. Yeah. Do you, do you want to tell us a bit about the plot line for the film? Sure. Uh, the movie yeah. starts with the engagement, the happiest moment in a couple's lives, and then uh, life, you know, throws its curveballs as it's been known to do. And it's about whether this couple is willing to realize that uh, it's not all about the happiest moment. It's about choosing a partner in crime to traverse this very rocky road. Wow. That's the best pitch you've ever given. What has happened to you? That's what's happened to you. So it's what you, it looks a bit dodgy to me. It's could be ball. could be anything really. Can yeah. like color. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> you you wrote the part for Emily. What was it like? Um, do, did you bring some Englishisms to it because picking Emily for the part? Um, no, I, I didn't. I wrote I wrote the part um, just you know straightforward, and I knew that Emily was going to come in and inhabit it. I it's the same as when I write women. I don't try to like lady it up because I think it just sounds like a guy trying to write uh, how like girls speak. Mm. You just write something normally as though you were going to play it and let them do their alters. And so I, uh, I <laughs> was that too close for you? I was just Almost, trying. Yeah. I was trying to indicate to the audience that I'm talking so about I, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, when I wrote this for Emily, I, <laughs> I, uh, I knew that she would, she would uh, just speak in her normal British cadence. Which not which is not at all not well, like that. That sounds like me, actually. This is, this is the best thing we do. Yeah. Hey, Tom, I've got a job. I've got, I've got a new job in Michigan. You thought you won't go with me, right, right? That's a really good impression. I thought that was actually you speaking. We can overdub it maybe yeah, later. Yeah, that is me. So were there ever, because it's a British family and an American family, is it, was there ever any sort of times on set where there were any Englishisms that you wanted to bring to the, to the story? I that... think all the time. I mean, I feel like there were many moments, I can't even think of any, but there were many moments where I'd say, oh, that's actually, we just would never say that. We might say this or... It was very collaborative all the way. And I think that Jason and Nick really liked all of the Britishisms and wanted yeah. to kind of keep them coming... So and she great. knew things I didn't know at all. Like she would say, like, oh, uh, 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 British it, people. Course. She'd be like, no, British people wouldn't kiss you. And I'd be like, what? But we're supposed to kiss in the scene. She's like, no, no, I'm British. I'm British. No, <laughs> British people wouldn't kiss you. We don't yeah. kiss. We, we don't kiss. kiss. Yeah, which was weird. I know. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Uh, and is it true you had to go on a diet for the film as well? It was less of a diet, more of a lifestyle change. <laughs> Um, yeah. I heard there was an interesting story about hamburger. Is that true, Ned? No. It's your, it's your night of shame. <laughs> There's two hamburger stories. I, I, Tell I, the taxi. That's the one. It's so appalling. So, okay, look. They made me stop eating hamburgers. Hamburgers are delicious. They're his favorite yeah. food ever. Yeah. And so, one night I was like, I did a particularly good job. And I was like, you know what? It's almost midnight. I'm exhausted. I'm going to treat myself to a hamburger. I hadn't had one in months. So I find a place that closes at midnight. I get there at two minutes to midnight, order my hamburger, I get it. I'm like so happy. So I get in the back of a cab to go home. Pretty I've had gnarly, a couple. Nolly cab. Yeah, and I've had a, a couple. And uh, I'm like, yeah, burger. We're about to get down. We're going to party, burger. And then we hit a bump, and the burger fell to the ground and splattered all over the back of the taxi. I looked down at it, I picked the pieces up and I reassembled it picked off the hairs and I just ate it I just devoured it when you got to have a burger you know you got he's to been eating, he'd been eating kale chips for a month so yeah. he was sick of it oh. That's oh, it. God. Um, I've got to wrap up, but final question. You play Super Bunny in the film and uh, Princess Diana. What are the two superpowers that Super Bunny would have and Princess Diana? I know you said she doesn't need to have one, but if she, she could have one. She doesn't need one. That's right. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah, she doesn't need any powers. Also. And Super Bunny? Mine would be quick, dry skin. Hmm. <laughs> For that period when you get out of the pool before you dry off from the sun and you it's shiver. Kind of chilly, yeah. Yeah. Instant dry. You'd yeah. be furry though, wouldn't you, from Super Bunny? That's alright. Yeah. That's alright. Yeah, that's okay. That's alright. alright, isn't it? Guys, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for the film. Cheers. You nailed that one. <laughs>